starts to scream, Oh no, my canoe just sprang a leak! <laughs> Come on, it's hysterical! The guy thinks his canoe sprang a leak! Oh, forget it. You guys have no sense of humor. We do, that's the problem. Don't worry, Odd. A sense of humor comes with growing up. Come on, I'm the funniest guy in school. In fact, if I wasn't me, I would be president of my own fan club. <laughs> now that's what I call funny. Yeah, but the problem is I didn't mean it to be funny. Do you mind making a little bit less noise? Some of us are trying to work. I've already spent a lot of sleepless nights recreating the rest of Lyoko and improving the digital equipment for all of you. And now I've got to figure out what to do about William. You haven't forgotten that while you're doing your bad stand-up act, it wasn't me, it was him, that William is stuck on Lyoko under the control of Xana. And if we don't do anything, people are going to start noticing his absence. So keep it down. Delmas Academy, Jean-Pierre Cadic here. Uh, Cadic Academy, Jean-Pierre Delmas speaking. This is James Dunbar, William's father. I'm calling to say that my son won't be able to attend school this week. He's got a very high fever and he has to stay in bed. Oh, rats! Uh, I hope it's not game over for him. Uh, that is to say, nothing too serious. Just a very bad flu. <laughs> Oh, that's a relief. Please tell your son that we all wish him a speedy recovery, Mr. Dunbar. Uh, goodbye, and thanks for calling. Uh. Oh. Mm. Whew, I honestly don't know what we'd do without my voice synthesizer. Well, now that we handle Delmas, maybe we can go to more important stuff. Yeah, like what? Meatballs and spaghetti! Odd, I know that you're a walking stomach, but I haven't got time to go to lunch. I have to get to the factory to test out the latest codes for your new equipment. Can you program me some bell-bottom pants with an orange stripe on the side? Will ya? I need a little thinking time. What you need is to hear a good joke. You don't laugh enough. Lighten up. It doesn't look that hard, sir. There we are. <laughs> mm. By the way, Nicole, don't you have some work to finish up? <laughs> what now? James Dunbar speaking. I'm calling you, sir, because I'm getting worried. I haven't heard from my son, William, for several days. And whenever I try to contact him on his mobile, he doesn't pick up. Well, isn't that a shame? I assure you, I'll do everything I possibly can to find your son. I'll call the army, the FBI, even the president. So don't worry. Well, there's no need to go that far for now. Now listen, Mr. Whoever alias Dunbar. You would do better to think about your own fate and not that of your so-called son once I discover who it is that's calling. So there. Hear that, Nicole? That is the way you have to talk to practical jokers who enjoy playing tricks on you. Hmm, there's one thing I don't get. How do you know that he was the practical joker and not the person you spoke to on the phone before? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? You don't want your banana? It's for Einstein. The walking stomach has to look out for our local genius. Uh-oh, Delmas and Incredible Hulk at 11 o'clock. Hello, Yumi. I was wondering, have you had any news of William Dunbar by any chance? Jim said that you were close friends. Somebody told me that he was sick in bed with a very high fever. Let me handle this, Jean-Pierre. Listen, Yumi, be honest with us. I know perfectly well that William isn't any more sick than I am. Bless you, Jim. Thank you. If you want to know what I think, I think William is somewhere, and something tells me that somehow you know exactly where that somewhere is, and that sometimes it's better to be honest with someone, so Uno, somebody should tell William we know he's around, and Doso, he ought to get back before tonight. If not, Mr. Delmas, our beloved principal, will call some police. That ought to do it. No way! That means I'm gonna have to slog away all afternoon trying to finish a program to get William out of Xana's clutches. And who knows if it'll even work? Uh-uh, that's impossible. We've got track this afternoon. You can't keep cutting fizz out all the time. One more time, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Okay, I'll get back to you. What are you gonna do? Improvise, as usual. <sighs> Problem, being here and in class at the same time. It's not easy. I don't believe it. Oh, wow, he sure got ready fast. Uh-huh. Two points. Hey, everybody. You've already finished all you had to do? Piece of cake, sweetie pie, huh? What'd you think? Sure, I'm done. You're looking at the man. How's it going, kid? 
You must have got all dolled up for me today. You wouldn't believe the vibes I'm feeling right now. Huh? Hey, go back to being Jeremy, will you? Hmm? It's just that whenever I see you, I don't feel like I'm myself. Hmm. Santa! Uh, Anna! Uh. Hey, cool! Hello, Yumi? Jeremy, but then... Uh -huh. Well, what do you think of me, guys? Hold on, you mind explaining this? You mean you haven't figured out that I made a double of myself? A digital copy by activating a tower on Lyoko. This way, I can work on the program for finding William and be in gym class at the same time. You might have warned us about it, Einstein. Sorry, guys, but I was in a big hurry. Anyway, you ought to know that your double has got to be about the biggest flirt I've ever met. Very strange. Must be some kind of emerging quality that appeared unexpectedly. Anyway, guys, I may not have hit a home run with it, but a double is still pretty good. Abulabas? Here. Belpois. Present. No, this has got to be a dream. Jeremy Belpois in person has finally decided to honor us with his presence in the flesh, although there's not a whole lot. After holding the world's record for absences from every single sport, we're all going to watch Mr. Skin and Bones make up for lost time by throwing his lack of weight around. <laughs> He's like... And so it was in 1671 that Isaac Newton created his famous reflection telescope. And as I'm sure you can see on this very rare and precious model of it... Okay, let me get out of the line of fire before I give you the signal. Go on! Yep. Newton and his law of gravity. The apple that fell. Oh. Holy Toledo, Belpois. I mean, incredible, Belpois. How could you throw that thing so far with arms as scrawny as the wings of a chicken, huh? Uh, well, you see, Jim, he's been working out a lot. <laughs> Jim, you're worse than those barbarians who burned down the Alexandria Library. Well, thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> Jeremy, you're going to participate in the inter-school competition against the top student gymnasts. Those dodos at Central Prep won't know what hit them. Oh. See how well you throw the javelin. Jeremy, this better be important. It sure is. Xana's attacking the tower that I activated. If it keeps up, Xana will be able to activate it in red and use it for his own evil purposes. Mm. I get the idea. How can you get the process to stop? To buy a little time, I could channel some of Sector 5's energy to shore up the tower's resistance. Wait till they get a load of this. You and me, we're gonna go far. Trust me, we're gonna taste the thrill of victory. We're gonna breeze through the championships, the nationals, the planetaries, the interplanetaries, the intergalactics. <laughs> to the factory. <laughs> Stern, Delarobia. Huh? Go on, pick yourselves a lane and let's see how you're in the 400 meters against Belpois. Huh? You ready, champ? <laughs> On your marks. You ready? Sit. Bang. You 
doesn't get me that easy, Xana. Delarubia! You'd better be careful not to rough up my champion. You okay, kid? I'm good, Jim. Okay. Better safe than sorry is what I always say. Any volunteers to go with Belpois to the infirmary? I'm off to the factory with Aelita. Isolate Jeremy too and watch him. Yeah, right. Easy for you to say. Uh, ma'am, can I please leave the room? Ouch! Yes, go. You haven't seen any pieces of mirror around, have you? If the Olympic champion would be so kind as to enter... <laughs> Hurry up! I've hardly got enough energy to protect the tower. We're ready, Jeremy. Okay, I'll start the procedure. Transfer, Aelita. Transfer, Yuma. Transfer, Kuro. Virtualization. It's perfect for getting a close shave. I love your skirt, Alita. Thanks. Those shoulder pads aren't bad either. Hey, you two can discuss fashion later. The activated tower is north by northwest. Try to calm down, Belpois. Don't you think that talking it out would be much more constructive than lashing out blindly and violently? Oh. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot for the psychology lesson, sir. Now I've got to catch him. what I can do. Where did these wings come from? You like them? They're just a little surprise I invented in my spare time, my Lita. Jeremy, you are the wind beneath my wing.
resourceful as you, pal. You'll see. you 
down, did ya? Oh! Hey! What do you think of my new outfit, huh? Yeah, that's what I think too. Return to the past now. So there's no way of bringing him back, right? Not for the time being. Have you got a plan B? Well, we haven't got any other choice. We'll have to make a copy of William to replace him here at the Academy. Isn't that a little risky? Yep, but it's the only way to call him Jim and Delmas. Okay, but don't ever ask me to take the copy to the infirmary, okay? Hopefully William's copy hasn't developed emerging qualities like someone else I know. From this distance, he looks normal. A little close. Well done, Bob, my boy. I'm glad to see that your fever has broken and you're feeling well. Uh, did I break anything else? Oh, <laughs> uh, don't forget to keep taking your medicines, eh? <laughs> well, we're not out of the woods yet.